Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, oh man, okay, so I haven't done um, videos in quite a while, probably like five or six weeks. Um, I am doing a bunch of videos kind of back to back, so you're going to probably be exposed to a lot of videos in a very short amount of time, and I do apologize about that. I've been working on, obviously, my new set. Um, it's still a work in progress for sure, um, but I'm pretty proud of it. It's just a little place that I can store all my Harry Potter goodies that I open in all these boxes and that I pick up along the way because there's definitely some stuff that I have that definitely didn't come in a box. So, um, all right. So today's super exciting. Um, I'm actually, I'm not going to lie. I'm super nervous about this unboxing. So we're going to be unboxing Cherry's um, Curiosity Box. Um, I was so excited about this. I talked about this in many videos, I think. Um, I woke up early um, in order to be one of the first ones to order this box. Um, I waited a very long time for it. Um, we ordered this box. This box went on sale in June. Uh, yes, in June. And um, I knew, and we all knew that it was not going to be sent out until August, late, late, late August, I think. So I knew I wasn't going to be expecting it until, you know, like the first week of September. Well, first week of September came and went. Um, I saw lots and lots and lots of people um, receiving their boxes, not only in the UK, like that's to be expected because it is a UK box coming, you know, it's Geek Gear, Cherry Wallace put it on. Um, she created this box and um, but a lot of people in the, in, uh, the States too, where I live, you know, in the United States. So, um, I was super discouraged for a while. Um, like I said, I waited a long, long time for this box. I actually just got it and it is very close to the end of September. So, um, I contacted Geek Gear and they have been awesome. So mind you, I need to let you know that Geek Gear's customer service has just been really, really great and accommodating. Um, and yeah, so this is obviously not like the one, I don't know, I, this I believe is the original one. So let me just show you guys what this box looks like. Um, Again, so this box, people have had it for a while. There has been probably hundreds of videos of this unboxing. I'm part of a few Harry Potter groups on Facebook, and there's been spoilers, spoilers, spoilers everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. It has been so hard. I know one item for sure has definitely been spoiled for me. The reviews on this box haven't been good. People have been saying, no, it's not as great as anticipated. There was a lot of anticipation for it and actually sold out before um, sales closed. So, um, you know, I'm a little nervous about it. I'm really hoping that I love everything that's in this box. I'm actually nervous about the contents of the box and I'll show you why. Um, so, like I said, my box took a very, very long time to get to me. Um, and when I got the box, it, it comes in plastic. So anything or like a baggie, um, kind of like a postal bag. So anything that's coming overseas that has to go through customs will come in this bag. Um, that's why nothing's ever like taped. Um, unfortunately this bag went all the way, yes folks, all the way to Thailand before it got over to me here in the United States. So... Um, I don't know where the confusion was. Um, my name is right on it. My address is right on it, which mind you, none of it even has a T in it really to look like Thailand. So postal error, I guess. Um, this box has traveled way further than I ever have in my entire life. Um, yeah, so it came from Thailand and, um, so it has kind of been lost, I guess, for a bit. Um, I don't have high hopes for this boss, box, actually. Um, it's super light. Um, I don't know, and when I got the package, it was all wrapped up in tape as well. I should've took a picture of that, but whatever. Um, this box is completely crushed. 
Um, it, it is half open. You can tell that it has just been sloppily open. Um, I have not looked in here yet. So we're going to do this together. Um, it could be an absolute mess. I could be missing all the contents in this box. I do feel a couple things in here, but there's supposed to be seven items in here. So I'm really not, um, I'm not impressed so far. And one thing, and I have to be honest with you guys, I really do. One thing that made me super, super upset is that Cherry Wallace herself, the creator of this box, um, did an unboxing that I haven't watched yet because she did it like literally maybe two days to a week after she shipped, um, like she initially shipped them or whatever. I found that incredibly rude. Like, I understand that you're a YouTuber and that you want views. Everyone wants views. I want views. That's fine. But, and I still love Cherry, so I'm really not knocking her. But I thought that was just so, at least wait until the majority of people have gotten their boxes before you go and, like, do an unboxing of the box you created. Um, from what I know, I guess someone else unboxed it or whatever, and she was there explaining everything maybe. I don't know. What's cool about it now is, though, I get to go online now and watch all these unboxings. So we'll see if I'm missing anything. I don't know. So let's let's just get on with it and open this box up. Um, so this, it honestly... It would have been really, really cute if the box wasn't completely crushed. So we see Cherry Wallace's signature right here, um, the curation of Magical Curiosity Curiosities, uh, Wizardry Box, um, powered by Geek Gear. So that is who put it on. And this box is really cute. It's meant to look like a piece of mail or a parcel or a package. Um, charmed, handled with care. So that is, it is cute. Um, things are like flying around in this box, which just doesn't give me a good sign at all. So, all right, we're going to open it up and just, I guess, pray for the best. Maybe we got half our items. That would be really cool. Something's falling out, guys. Okay. So, let's just shove that back in there. Oh. Okay, so I did hear about a letter. Um, I know that some people did not get the letter, um, I, weirdly, oddly enough, went to Thailand and everything and, uh, got the letter. So, huh. You know what, guys? It looks relatively okay. So, do you think, do you think maybe, do you think maybe it'd be okay? Okay, so we have a letter here. Uh, I believe this is from Cherry. It's a little crushed, no big deal. Although I could have absolutely done that, trying to shove it back in here. Um, but look at this. So this is cute. Uh, ooh, black tissue paper with some gold um, foiling. You have lightning bolts and flying keys. So if I'm not mistaken, um, Cherry loves those things. So I'm not um, surprised that that is what the tissue paper looks like. So, okay, okay, okay. Good start. Um, let's read this letter from Cherry. Okay. It says, I hope this letter finds you well in that, in that the owl that delivered it arrived safely. I don't know about that. The owl actually took a very long trip and a detour. So um, that I actually feel super bad for the owl, to tell you the truth, Cherry. Feel bad for my owl. Went to Thailand. Didn't need to go to Thailand. Right here, United States. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Sorry. Um, she says, I also hope that this box didn't end up in the wrong hands as I will likely get into trouble for exposing our kind to the magical world. Might have ended up in the wrong hands. We will see what's in here. I'm sorry. But um, if you're reading this, I wanted to say a big thank you for all the support with the curation of Magical Curiosity. Always Cherry. P.S. By the way, the bird bites. Okay, so maybe the owl who delivered it. I don't know. Either way, cute letter. I'm very, very excited that I did get the letter. Like I said, one of my good friends um, who um, is in Australia actually did not get her cherry letter. So 
What's up with that? I don't know. I don't know. But okay, let's dive in this box. Let's see what's there. How do I? Okay. Okay, definitely a little tousled. We will see if everything's in there. It's so light, like, so light. I'm, okay, let's just grab our first thing. Okay, so we have a pin. I do love pins. I never thought I actually would get into collecting pins. When I used to watch these unboxings, um, I'd be like, uh, another pin, meh, whatever. I love the pins. Sometimes they're my absolute favorite item in the box. So, okay, let's see what we got here. So this is cute. Curation of Magical Curiosities, the Yule Ball. And this is, um, here, I'll show you guys. So that's cute. I love how colorful it is. The Yule Ball is like etched right there. So these are like maybe pumpkin juice bottles or something. Um, because there's little pumpkins on top here. But yeah, that's cute. It's got a little snowflake on each of them. So they're bottles of something. I don't believe that they're potion bottles. I think they are like a beverage of some sort. Probably um, that they, you know, served at the Yule Ball. So that's very cute. Now, there's going to be seven items in here. Uh, well, there's supposed to be seven items in here. And each one represents one of the books. So this is book Four, I believe. Um, the Triwizard of Tournament, Goblet of Fire, the Yule Ball. That's awesome. Okay, okay, good start, good start. Let's see what else is in here. So we have a little box that I'm actually super excited about. I am a Hufflepuff, so herbology is kind of my thing. Well, it's supposed to be, I think. Um, I don't have too much of a green thumb, but I like to think I do, right? So we have a little box here and on it, it says Herbology. And this is a greenhouse. I believe it's meant to look like the Herbology greenhouse. Herbology that way. Okay. Wonder what could be in this box. I wonder, I wonder. So we will open it up. And we will take it out. Ooh, it is in plastic. Okay. And for the life of me. I am not going to remember what this is called, but uh, Neville was super into plants and he had this mimbulosa, blah, 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 blah. It was a Latin term for um, a plant. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that that's what this is. That's cute. I don't know if everyone would get this reference, but that's cute. And I don't even know if I actually got this reference right, but yeah, I like that. That's cute. So this is a ceramic. Um, this is kind of like a, uh, like a cactus, I guess, almost. It looks like a cactus a little bit, a little bubbly cactus here. It's in a little pot, but this is all ceramic. Cute little display piece. I like that. Um, hopefully I'm right on my, what I think it is. And if I'm not mistaken, so maybe this might be year, oh, geez, you know what? I don't even... I don't even know what year this would be. I'm not sure, but okay, moving on. So as Geek Gear is very well known for, we do have a tea in here. And of course we're going to um, look at it. So the time turning tea, this is what that is. If you can see it there. The time turning tea, or not the, just time turning tea. So what is this? This is uh, passion fruit infused tea. So the ingredients are white tea, flavoring, coconut chip, coconut chips, um, sweet blackberry leaves, rose petals, cornflower petals, marigold petals, and sunflower petals. So I believe, well, I know so I, I always, I'm like trying to like associate this of why Cherry would pick this. She always wears a time turner, which there is a little one on the cup right there. Um, in her video, she always wears one. And um, I do believe she loves the color yellow. Uh, she is, um, I think she's a Gryffindor, but she's a Hufflepuff in disguise. Um, yeah, so let's take a little sniff of this tea what it smells like right passion fruit 
I can already smell it. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. The tea smells great. And it is. Oh my God. It's gorgeous. Okay. Do you see the rose petals in there? And the sunflower petals. It is so pretty. Oh my goodness. And that passion fruit smell is like so good. Oh my goodness. I want to eat it. Oh, it smells so yum. Okay. So that is um, item number three. Okay. Time Turner. Time Turner. Book three. I believe. The bo Geek Gears Boxing is always top notch. So we have, it says, Memory Vial. Okay. And on the back here it says, this exquisitely, ex oh, sorry, this exquisitely crafted vial bottle will hold your closest memories for many years to come. Book six. Absolutely book six. I'm a little nervous about this. I am super, um, first of all, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Corinne. I'm super clumsy. Yes, I drop everything. And um, I knew that Cherry's box was going to be full of very delicate things. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, There's so much going on here. Hold on one second. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. So let me just get this out of the plastic. Oh my goodness. So here is, um, oh God, do you see this? Here is um, the memory vial. It is a delicate, delicate glass vial um, that has a little topper here. And you're supposed to write, put your memories in there. So you can put them around your pensive and look at them later. Uh, but if you remember correctly in book six, Harry got a very special memory from Professor Slughorn. Um, I, you know what, I'm going to fill this with something. I have no idea what I'm going to fill it with. It did come with these, and I believe these are labels. Hold on one second. Let me put this down. So really quickly again. And I believe these are like um, labels, I think. Hopefully, oh, geez, they are very delicate. I just bent one. Um, but yes. The gorgeous. So I believe these are, you know, you would write like um, what memory, you know, it was. If I was married, you know, or something like that, I would say like my wedding day and then stick that right on the vial. That is very cute. At least I think that's what it's for. Again, we'll find out soon. So yeah, that's very, very pretty. Delicate, but very, very pretty. What's a little bit different about this box, kind of cool, is that it not only has like the regular cardboard little ones, but it has some gold ones in there. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. So it makes it a little extra special. And I know that Cherry has come out with a Christmas box. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it. I believe it is still on sale. Um, I'm not sure. We'll talk about that at the end a little bit. So here is something. Um, I got a spoiler on this. Folks, I got a spoiler on this. And let me tell you, I was not happy. I was not looking for spoilers. I, was, I had been so careful to avoid all spoilers, even talk about what was in the box. Um, so I'm super upset about that because I would have been so excited to open this little package right here because I would have thought maybe, oh, I know what it is, but now I just have a spoiler. And you know what the spoiler was? It was actually a very, could have absolutely been avoided mistake. So someone had posted their video um, of them unboxing the Cherry Wallace box. Great, awesome. I do the same thing, that's super cool. Congratulations. However, their thumbnail, so that picture that you put, um, you know, in um, for for you to click on the the video was a picture of, you know, the poster with this in her hand. Why would you do that? 
or just post this. Just post this in the package. Then I can wonder, ooh, I think I know what that is. But no, no, they didn't. So I know what this is. You guys might not know what this is, though. So let's open it on up. What do you guys think it is? Leave a comment down below if you think you can guess what this is. I know a lot of you guys have already seen all these unboxings. Cherry herself has unboxed this already. So, boop. Okay. Just going to open it up. Okay. 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 So, yes, this is, this is exactly what I knew it was going to be. Do you guys know what that is? So this is the Sorcerer's Stone, or the Philosopher's Stone, depending where you are, um, from book one. Pretty awesome. So let's actually take it out of the paper. I, I might actually keep it in the paper for display purposes, but let's take it out to look at like the quality and everything. It does have a little bit of weight to it. I'm actually really surprised. I thought this was gonna be very, very much plasticky. So it's definitely like some sort of resin. Um, red, like clear-ish resin. There's a little bit of weight to it for sure. Um, but that is really pretty. That really is pretty. I actually, I actually really do like this. Um, there was another box, I'm not gonna name its name, uh, that I opened quite a long time ago. There was a little parcel inside wrapped just like that, and I thought for sure it was gonna be the Sorcerer's Stone. It was actually like the first box of uh, the series, like book one, box one. Um, and it wasn't, I was a little disappointed on that. But that's okay, so this is super cute and I finally have one for my collection. I actually did just see Cherry opening um, like an authentic one from the Noble Collection the other day. Um, but this is cool. So it is like scuffed up, um, but there is definitely, you guys aren't going to be able to see it, but lots of like scratches and stuff. I guess right for a stone that's however many thousands of years old, um, I guess it could, you know, it it's bound to get a couple scratches, but I don't know if it's meant to like be worn like that. Let me know. Is you guys, is, is yours, you know, kind of scuffed up like this, but I still really like it. Very, very cool. Awesome. So we have, I believe we have two things left. Um, great. And, oh, oh, I wish it wasn't so crushed. So upset. Here's a piece of artwork. This is, did Cherry do this? I think um, Cherry actually did this herself. I'm going to show you guys. It is so crushed, but a little, it's a watercolor picture uh, painted of a mandrake, a baby mandrake. And how funny is that? Oh my goodness. This is actually quite beautiful. I actually do love it. Um, but it's like, it's crushed, like completely crushed, which is such a bummer. I might be able to flatten it out if I put it under some heavy books, maybe for a little bit, maybe, I don't know, like this corner is like completely, but anyway, um, if you can see in very, 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 very tiny letters down there, Cherry Wallace has signed that. So I can only assume that this is her print. Um, oh, it's so crushed. I'm so upset about that. This would have been really cool if it wasn't crushed. I don't even know. I don't know. There was just so much anticipation around um, this box that it was like. Anyway, that mandrake is definitely from year two. Last thing we have is an envelope. It's got, um, well, so it's not an actual wax seal. It's just a sticker, but how cool. Definitely hollow sticker made to look like a wax seal. That's very awesome. Hopefully, if we're gentle enough, we'll be able to keep it, y'all. Here we go. Okay. So, we're going to open it up. See that? What is that? Let's see. Pull it out. I don't know what this is. 
this might just be um, a page, a page out of um, a textbook, advanced potion making textbook. Um, okay, I don't know. It's a piece of paper. But anyway, so you can see um, it says advanced potion making up here. Um, the drought, the uh, drought of living death, dropped, drought of living death. Um, it talks about it, the ingredients, uh, special equipment. Okay, I see what's going on here. So, um, I think this is like the Half Blood Prince's, um, you know, a, a page pulled out of there. That stinks that it's like just kind of a page pulled out of there. Um, it would be cool if we had like a little replica of the whole book. Maybe not the whole book, but like, I don't know. But so cool. Um, and then it goes on to giving instructions of how to make that with all, um, you know, the Half Blood Prince's little scribbles there. Um, pretty cool. I guess. Sorry, I didn't give you guys a very good look at that. I don't know. I'm not like this one. I think I'm like least impressed with. I don't know why. I feel like this could have been really cool. Um, but it's not. And sorry about that beep if you guys heard that. Um, <laughs> um, I'm sorry to be kind of Debbie Downer, but, um, uh, okay. So let's look at our, um, Cherry's little sheet she has here. And I do love this paper though. Um, this is what her letter was written on and now our little cheat sheet. And it does look here and written by her. So it might actually even be her handwriting. Totally could. So year one, obviously, is the Philosopher's Stone, or if you're from the States, the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, so she says, I've always had a fondness for Harry's first year at Hogwarts, mostly because it's where we, where we were first introduced to the wizarding world. Very true. Oh, my heart. Oh man. Yes. The first trip to Diagon Alley is the ultimate, um, event in my, in my book. Um, so if we had never picked up the first book, I think our lives would feel a lot less magical and you mostly, most likely would not be reading this right now. I felt like there was no other choice but to include a Philosopher's Stone to represent Harry's first year at Hogwarts. Wrapped in brown paper in twine, just how it looked when Hagrid removed it from the vault in Gringotts, you are now the owner of your very own Philosopher's Stone. Keep it safe, use it wisely, and keep it out of muggle hands. I do, like I said, I do quite like this. I am gonna probably like keep it half wrapped um, in the brown packaging. I do like that. So cherry, very nice, very nice touch. So the year two, which is such a bummer. I know this was year two, the Mandrate artwork. It is super cute, right? And I know you guys can't even see, it's adorable. You can see how adorable it is, but you can't see how destroyed it is. Um, it's destroyed, just, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to frame that, but it is, it's quite beautiful. So year two Mandrake artwork, repotting your, repotting young Mandrakes in herbology class with Professor Pomona Sprout was one of my favorite scenes in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Why? I think it's because if I was at Hogwarts, the greenhouses are where I'd spend most of my time. I've always had a fascination with mandrake plants. I like that the root shape resemble hands. I like that they scream when they're being replanted and that you need to wear earmuffs. I painted this with watercolor prints. I feel like I should name him. Maybe you should. Maybe you should have a name. But, I mean, kudos to you, Cherry, actually. The artwork is actually quite phenomenal, um, especially with watercolors. Like, that's pretty talented, if you ask me. So, very, very nice. I am definitely disappointed mine is a little crushed, but I'll get over it. So, year three, Time Turning Tea. Yes, I did. I love this. I love this tea. 
Um, so if you watch any of my videos on those magical devices, you know that I'm rarely seen without wearing my time turner from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I also love tea. Fruit flavors are my favorite. So I hope you enjoy this one. Cherry, I think I am going to enjoy this. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a um, tea episode. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to videotape myself tasting all of these magical teas. And be on the lookout for that. So I hope you join me there. So year four is the Yule Ball Pin. Would you enter your name into the Goblet of Fire? I'm not sure that I would, but I definitely attend the Yule Ball. The dresses and dress robes, the music, the food and drink, and let's not forget the decorations. You knew I'd sneak an enamel pin into this box, didn't you? This pin was designed by Amelia B23 and myself. She makes wonderful magical pins. And yes, that is super cute. So this is year five. Um, so I did, I was able to grab that after I did this long spiel. Um, yeah, about Neville and <laughs> and this and plants. But anyway, so uh, year five, Mimbulus Mimbletonia. I was a little bit right on that, right? That's like the Latin term for, for this plant. So don't worry, this Mimbulus Mimitoma, Mimitonia won't cover you in stink sap. That's what it does. Mm. Neville Longbottom received one of these interesting plants as a gift the summer of 1995. We first see the Mimbulus Mimitonia plant in Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. Did you know the plant in the film was soft and spongy? with a animatronic robot inside to make it move. I can confirm this, as I have been lucky enough to hold it myself. That's pretty cool. I was right my first time um, talking about it. Maybe, yeah, I was. Um, Neville, he loved his plants. Some argue Neville should have been in Hufflepuff. Um, but, I mean, he was pretty brave. If you ask me, he, um, he really, he really stood up by the end of the book. So I am a huge Neville fan. So, okay, moving on. So year six, um, the drought of the living death potion recipe, which is this, which, you know, I have to say, um, I'm not super crazy about, I don't know. But so potion recipe. It's very nice, nice quality paper. I do have to say that, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, so you may know by now that one of my favorite books from Hogwarts is Advanced Potion Making. Mine too. Do you see that right there? My Advanced Potion Making book. I love it. Going back to this. Uh, I wanted to share this potion recipe with you. Otherwise, how are you going to win the vial of Felix Felicius from Professor Slughorn? This was designed by Alarm, I, um, Alarm 18, who made one of my favorite limited edition books. This page has come directly from the hundreds of magical pages he designed for his version of advanced potion making. So keep it safe and away from muggle eyes. Mm. I'm not, I'm just, what do you guys think? Is this, do you guys like this? I mean, do you like it? Maybe you do. Maybe you do. I'm just, I'm not, I'm, You don't have to love everything that comes in boxes, by the way. You really, you don't have to. Okay, so the final thing. So imagine being able to bottle your most treasured memory. It's one concept from the Wizarding World that I wish was real. This item was inspired by Harry Potter. I'm sorry, by Harry collecting Professor Severus Snape's tears. Okay. I wanted to create a product where you could save your own memories and label it yourself. What memory would you save? I'd love to know. Okay. Right. Huh. I didn't make that connection. 
I did not make that connection, but yes, that, that makes sense. Okay. So that is, it is beautiful. And I actually, I, I want to like fill this with like a liquid of some sort, but that's cool. Okay. Um, well, good news is we got all of our, um, products. They were all, they're all in great shape for the most part. Nothing's broken. Nothing's missing. The box is a little tore up. My Mandrake, um, uh, picture print watercolor is a little crushed. It's okay. Um, overall thoughts on the box. I thought that it was creative, but I think that, I think it could have been a little more different. I'm telling you right now, I'm not crazy about the page of advanced potion making. Um, there's a T. Okay, that's fine. Um, we have a pin. That's good. It's cute. Um, I do like the Sorcerer's Stone, but that was, it was spoiled for me. So I think maybe if that was, if I wasn't so, if it, that wasn't spoiled for me, I maybe would have... Um, been more excited about this box. I do like the vial. Um, and the plant, I guess, yeah, that's cool. So, yeah. Um, what did you guys like best? I guess my favorite thing is probably the stone or the vial. You know, um, I think, Cherry, you did a very good job on your first box. I think um, critics are going to be very, very rough with you. Um, especially your first time around. I know, um, I don't think it's affecting her though. Um, I haven't watched many of her videos lately because I don't want any spoilers of even my other boxes, but I hope that she continues to do this. She does know the Wizarding World very well. Um, yeah, you know, you don't have to love every single item in a box. Um, it's great to have multiple items that you like in a box, especially when boxes tend to be a little expensive. I buy all these boxes myself, so I really want something super magical. A really, you know, it's not actually just about the stuff that's in the boxes. It's actually about the experience of opening all this stuff. You know, for the next box, I could definitely, I would love to see a lot more different things. Um, there's a lot of paper things in here that are great, but, mm, you know, there's only so much wall room you have to frame stuff. So anywho, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Again, thank you so much for, for joining me today. Um, and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you liked this video, or even if you didn't like this video, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, leave me a rating for sure. Um, I will talk to you guys all very, very soon. Thanks so much. Bye.